Early in the morning, in the morning. What's going on the people that miss your boy come Topical Juice and for once I'm actually doing this Love Island review in the daytime because it's the next day. I'm sure it won't really bang views like that because it's the end of the Love Island, it's the next day, it's not really going to be hot property anymore. But let's get into this anyway, I've just finished the episode, it was alright, it wasn't too bad but I'm ready for the show to end. So let's get into this man, like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me, press that subscribe button for me and let's get into this video. Real quick just before I start actually, I am so happy that Dami and India are safe. And as Nicole said in her video, if anyone had voted for them at all, you're just fake. You're just fake because they are easily the most compatible, easily the most compatible in the villa. Yeah, despite Dami's antics and this, that and the other, that has nothing to do with compatibility. He is very really compatible with India. And you guys, the public, yeah, the audience that are watching this show and watching that show and whatever, watching my episodes, this is the proof. Yeah, these are your real Love Island winners. Facts. You've literally got it from the horse's mouth or whatever the saying is, the camel's mouth or whatever, the, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you've literally got it from the people inside. The people inside are telling you the most compatible people, yeah, the people that see, see everything every day, they're telling you it's Damian India. So if Damian India don't win, it's literally favoritism for other people, individuals, and racism, if we're being real, in, in this UK, I hate, to, I hate to use the R-bomb, I hate to use the R-word, but that's, that's, that's what it's going to be, really and truly. What, what English people are really going to want? Black people representing the winners of the UK. It's, 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 it's not, it's not going gonna, gonna to run, is it? So, Tash and Andrew have a cute day. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm completely, I'm on board with them. Do you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people really use Tash as a whipping board, as like a... Uh, what would you call it, like an easy target? Yeah, because she's open-minded to meeting people early on when they didn't even know each other that much, yeah? She's a bad person and she can never do no right after that. Bullshit, I think them two are on the right path. Now, are any of these couples really gonna look, work on the long term? Probably not, most likely not, probably none of them. But if anyone's gonna work, I feel like Tash and Andrew because they've really gone through the most kind of like, or are, are up there with the most drama. And they've always gravitated towards each other. Billy, Coco, Jay, whoever, whoever you want. There's always, yeah, unfortunately, it's been always someone else. But they have come back to each other and they've gone from strength to strength. While Luke was saying it was rushed and this, that, he's never liked them as a couple. So I don't trust him um, to give it a, a fair opinion on them too. But I, I'm with it, man. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think they deserve to make it to the final. And best of luck to them. You know what I'm saying? But all she ever wanted was like a boy that loved her for who she is. She's crying. She feels lucky. He feels like he's hit the jackpot. Listen, don't get me wrong, when they talk to each other, mainly when Andrew talks to her, I do, I do cringe a little bit. Um, just the way he talks to her, kind of like a baby sometimes. Like, I don't know I don't know if you lot have noticed that, but he, he does talk to her kind of like a baby and it does make me cringe a little bit. But, as I said, they, it was a nice scene, floral shaped heart thing on the beach. It was cute. He's talking about seeing, he can see himself marrying her. She fucking loves him, all of that. I can't remember what point in the episode it was, but I think Tash, oh no, it, was, it might have been before the dates actually, but Ekinsu was basically talking about how saying I love you is closer, is, or is arguably like better than being a boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever. And I, I agree. Uh, I have, I, I've only watched Nicole's video, I ain't seen anyone else's yet, but I'm not too sure. That I, and I don't go on Twitter, you know me, I don't go on Twitter and follow the sheep. So I don't know what people are saying about that, that scene there, but I, I personally agree. You can literally be a boyfriend and girlfriend and, and have one, not have said I love you yet by that point. And also, you can fall in love with someone without a label being on it. Like, I actually, I actually agree with Ekansu in that moment. I think the, the I love you part, to actually love someone, is way more important than just a label of, oh, your boyfriend and girlfriend, in my opinion. Gemma was sounding a bit like, um, well, how is that more important then? But, but listen, I, I actually think it is. Now, Gemma and Luca go on their dates. And I'm not being funny yet. Their whole date was just giving brother and sister friendship. You know them ones there, like... There wasn't real, there wasn't no real empathy, sorry, there wasn't no real interaction, hands-on. Gemma, I know someone similar to Gemma in the sense that her like love language is like to be mean in it. And with people like that, like I, I can be bountiful back as well, I can be mean back as well. But I feel like Gemma's love language really is like that, like in a sense where she really, maybe not even her love language, I think she just struggles to really be kind or like lovey and she has made that very clear from the jump like she hasn't made she hasn't really opened up she doesn't really open up like romantically like that or all cute cute cuddly cuddly but i do feel like she has opened up a lot more since the start of the show so i do feel like she's trying with luca it just doesn't really it just it's just 
I, I'm not surprised they got three votes, to be honest. We will talk about the logic behind the votes shortly, but I'm not surprised with their voting situation. But, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I thought while the other dates were really cute and romantic and that, they, theirs was just a bit too talky and... Yeah, she was saying some quite nice things about how I didn't expect to find someone that I could see a future with, but it's all just... I think it's all just wass, to be honest. It's all just that Love Island jargon. Um, but you can even tell from the way it started, because he was like, what's your favourite moment in here? And he, I'll be honest, Gemma is not emotionally unintelligent. She obviously knows what he's looking to hear, because she even said it. She was like, do you want me to say you? Yeah. Of course he does. So maybe, just maybe, humour him and say, Luca, my favourite part here was, was meeting you. Yeah. But instead, she's too real and says, um, yeah, well, I, I liked a lot of it. I like this, I like that, I like that. And then she decides to run jokes. And say, actually, I liked my favourite thing was licking Adam. The, the same thing they bickered about the other day. I mean, don't get me wrong, they did, they did squash it, they moved on, and that's 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 a testament to their, their relationship. You can laugh about things like that. That's what I prefer. You, can, you know, I've whenever I've argued with someone about something, I might even break the ice by making a joke about the argument straight away before we even squashed it. You know what I'm saying? So I do get it, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I feel them too much. Guys, I'm really struggling to think of a donut of the day today. It could I might just give it to Dammy for getting his nails painted. But I don't care what year we're in, I don't care what people in the comments say, oh, it's 2022, we can do whatever we want, I don't care. I don't paint my nails. None of my dons paint their nails. I know a lot of men do paint their nails. A lot of men in the LGBT community, a lot of people in the rock community, whatever, rock and roll, black nails. I think even like some rappers have done it, like Young Fug probably. I don't rate it. Yeah, so each to their own, whatever, paint their nails all you like, but I just don't really rate it, so I might as well just give Dammy Donut a day for that because I, I couldn't even struggle. But that being said though, the scene was cute. I ain't gonna lie, the scene was cute. Even though I don't paint my nails and that, I would let a girl pop my spots, for example. So it's them intimate type vibes. I get it, I get it. Yeah, I get it, but just not really for me, so. Sorry, Dami, you're my guy though, and I'm so glad you're making it to the final, though, big man team. Oh yeah, sorry, one more thing about the Luca and Gemma day. Luca did mention about putting a label on it, and I know he's keen to do that, and I know he understands that he needs to meet the parents soon and this, that, but just chill, chill with the label stuff, just let it, move naturally, let the, the natural kind of hurdles outside the villa show themselves, reveal themselves and work your way through them. And then we'll talk about labels, you understand? People just, they're too intense in the villa, too quick. And also, is his, he, I feel like his love language is like um, words of affirmation maybe, like he constantly needs kind of like words and reassurance and nice things said and cause you know what I'm saying? But she is like more of the banter to kind of mean side. But listen, who knows? Now the dumping, so, to cut straight to the chase, Davide and Ekinsu got received four votes. Luca and Gemma got three. Paige and Thingy got two. And Tasha and Andrew got one. That's about right. That's about right. I actually, I actually completely agree with every single voting. Now, I've, I've seen some people in, people in some people's comment sections saying, um, oh, like, how did Paige and Adam not get no vote? They've only been in for 0 0.5 seconds. Life's about perspective. The, the fact that they've only been together for 0 0.5 seconds, that, have they even had a fair crack? Have they even had a fair shout? The fact that they've been that, the, the fact that they've been together and they look semi-compatible -compa and they've only been together for two weeks or whatever, you have to give them a fair shake. So I'm, I'm not even mad at that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't care, I don't want them to win and I don't care about them as a couple or even individually, to be honest, but I'm a fair guy, man. It doesn't really make sense to vote them as not compatible just because they ain't been together for that long, in my opinion. However, I completely agree that Davide and Ekinsu should have been voted the highest, if I'm being real. Now, again, I've seen some people in comment section saying it's because they're a threat. No, it's not because they're a threat. The logic they used behind why they chose them is spot on. They literally bicker like a married couple. And some people seem to romanticize that. Some people think that's a sign of you being literally like solid and together because you argue and get closer. No, that's toxic. That's flat out toxicity. If anything, I want my relationship to be like Paige and Adams, if I'm being real, yeah? When have you seen them argue? They don't. So the Davide and Ekinsu stuff will be a problem on the outside. Now, they also said something that was very interesting. They, I think India and Paige, or Gemma, one of them, um, it was definitely India, they said that they felt that Davide liked Ekinsu way less than she does. That's an interesting perspective. And I'm not too sure how much I agree with that because he has really opened up and taken the initiative by, by doing the cake thing to make it exclusive, despite me thinking that was cringy, but it was cute. He told her he loved her at the dinner, unprovoked first. Do you understand? So don't get me wrong, she might have liked him the most first, 
but he's taken his a slow approach to get there. But I do believe he's not fully 100% trusting of her. I do agree with that. But I don't know about the feelings just yet. I think they both really feel each other at the moment. But again, on the outside, it ain't gonna work. You understand? Gemma and Luca, as I said, they look like boys. As in, they were just looking like friends or brothers and sisters in this episode. I can't, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? I can't lie. They weren't really giving much in terms of like real serious romance, but because it, again, India made such a valid point. India is so lit, man. Because she goes, okay, yeah, Gemma's not going to be licking guys' faces on the outside. However, what if she does something like take a picture with someone, go to an event with someone, or whatever? What's Luca gonna be like then? Is he gonna is he gonna still be over overprotective and blah blah blah? Like you get it. So it's a fair point, and I, I believe um, Luca and Gemma should have been up there with the most incompatible ones. But I'm not mad that Ekansu and Davide are, are, are not that compatible. But the public are gonna save them, obviously. So it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Paige and Adam could be voted off because. The public seem to dislike them as individuals and dislike them together. You know, it is what it is. Obviously, Luca was going to give a slight dick to Andrew and Tash, even though Tash was actually riding for Gemma and Luca, I think. I think he was literally saying, oh yeah, I love them both, but yeah, they, they rushed it and rah, rah, rah. And I'm sure in the very next scene, Tash is like, ah, oh, you know, Luca and Gemma, no, nah, I think they've gone through much, that they're compatible, rah, rah. Luca is like, who needs enemies, yeah, when Luca is your friend? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know your thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe, what the hell do I know? I'm just a man in his 20s. Peace.